The third method to synthesize the radioactive probe and the most commonly used method is random primed radioactive labeling. As the name indicates, we use the primers which can bind randomly. Agar replication ka concept thoda sa zain me laiye, double stranded DNA has to get separated. Like if you see in this picture that we have a double stranded DNA. Jab bhi hamne isko replicate karna hai, then we separate the two strands and that process is called as denaturation. And then next step is utilization of the primers which can bind to these DNA template strands and then the strand is extended and we get the two strands, two DNA molecules from the one DNA molecule. Now the same principle is used to produce the probes by random priming method. The random priming method uses the clino fragment as the enzyme for polymerization. It needs the supply of nucleotides and one of those nucleotide is going to be radio labeled. When we subject the double stranded DNA to denaturation by increasing temperature in the presence of a mixture of random primers, those primers are going to bind with the template DNA and they are going to extend or prime the synthesis of new DNA strand. As you can see in this picture, this is the double stranded DNA which is denatured by heating. Now there is found only a single strand of DNA which will act as a template. In the second step, those oligonucleotides or primers which are known as hexamer, they are going to bind with the template strand at random positions and the extension of those primers they are going to fill up the gaps. Now this is the method which is preferred over both the previously talked about method because of the reason this method is going to give you very high activity of the probes. This may reason kya is ke piche kyunki hum jo probe Synthesis कर रहे हैं उसमें complete strand जो है DNA का वो newly synthesized है और उसमें maximum number of radioactively labeled nucleotide incorporate हो रहे हैं इसका हमें जो plus point मिलता है high activity probes का that we can identify smallest amounts of DNA found on the membrane during southern blotting.